Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another command prompt lesson. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about today is something to do with the DIR command. So when you're listing all the folders, for example, DIR, uh, if you want to just list folders starting with a particular letter, you can type DIR space P star. And uh, asterisk, asterisk just means that um, it can be any letter. So after P, uh, it can be anything you want. Now, if you want um, to list uh, folders or files starting with PR, you can type DIR space PR star. And then it'll only list folders starting with PR. So in this case, there are only two of them. And the same thing works with the delete command. So if you want to delete a file, uh, for example, I'm just going to create a quick file. I'll create a quick folder, uh, md hello, cd hello. Okay, I'll create a quick file, quick text file called uh, tests. Uh, yes. And uh, so when you delete files, instead of typing uh, delete test.txt, it'll be gone. Or you can type in, um, hang on a sec, uh, hang on, I'll create a file again, test.txt, tests. Okay, so you can see I have a file here called tests. And if I want to delete everything, I will type de delete star. If I want to delete all the files starting with T, I would type T star. Okay, so that's how you would use stars and uh, names. Okay, now let's get rid of the folder RD. Hopefully you guys remember that. Okay, so now what I want to talk about is how to copy files. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make a folder called Explorer. Okay, so I have a folder called Explorer. And uh, hopefully you guys remember how to make folders and change directories. Okay, now I'm going to the program files folder. So CD slash program files. And you can see there's a folder called Internet Explorer. Okay, so I'm going to copy all the files from here into my um, into my Explorer folder that I have just created. So C drive slash Explorer, that's my own folder with nothing in it. And I'm going to copy everything from the C drive slash program file slash Internet Explorer. I'm going to copy everything from that into this folder. And the command that I'm going to use is called robocopy. Okay, so robocopy uh, basically um, what you want to do is type robocopy slash question mark. Now you can actually do that with pretty much all the DOS commands. If you type slash question mark, it gives you a list of all the possible uh, attributes you can attach to the end of the command. So you can see that it's giving me a list of things that I could do and these are all the possible options that I can add to the end of the end of the command. So basically this explains pretty well what you have to do robocopy the usage is robocopy space where you want to copy from space where you want to copy to space uh, and then any any options. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to copy everything. So 
The folder was uh, that was the full file path. So I'm gonna type RoboCopy space where I'm copying from, which is C drive slash program file slash Internet Explorer. Actually, I'm gonna put this under quotation marks because just in case the computer gets confused space quotation mark C drive slash Explorer quotation mark and then the uh, options that I'm gonna add at the end of the command is slash E now what does slash E mean slash E means copy subdirectories so I'm gonna copy any folders that are under the program files Internet Explorer folder, any subfolders. And another command I'm going to use is slash uh, copy all. So copy all copies all file info. Right, all the file info, for example, when it was last modified, uh, whether it's hidden and all that stuff. And the last thing I'm going to do is slash XJ. Now, what does slash XJ do? Slash XJ, um, just looking for it here. XJ, XJ. Slash XJ excludes junction points. Now, we'll talk about what junction points are in our next video. But basically, uh, oops. Hang on. Basically, uh, if you don't type slash xj, uh, it's possible that uh, this program is going to run into an infinite loop. So xj, rather than something you can or cannot have, if you uh, sort of want to avoid this problem you have to put it put it in there anyway so just make sure you type that in there okay so I'm going to press enter you can see it's done all of this and uh, it's not allowing us to copy some files not sure why so you can see here that robocopy is stuck because it's trying to copy these files that are access denied so Windows doesn't want you to copy its system files or whatever so what you're gonna do is press control C to jump out of that so that's the break and you can see that if we run robocopy again it automatically detects what files have been copied already and it jumps to the files that haven't been copied yet so that's a pretty useful feature of RoboCopy now uh, what we're gonna do to uh, fix this waiting 30 second problem uh, obviously there's no way for us to copy the files because we don't have permission but to fix the waiting 30 seconds problem uh, what we're gonna do is change the wait time when it wouldn't let us copy so that way we can still go through all the files and copy the ones that we can copy in a very short of time a short amount of time so to add to the end of our robocopy to fix that we're gonna type slash r colon one and that means the amount of retries so it's not gonna keep retrying on the same file it will retry it once if it doesn't work then we'll skip it and then slash w which is the wait time is one second instead of waiting 30 seconds we're only gonna wait one second so if we run that again and you can see that it's pretty much uh, jump through 
everything already. Oops, retry limit exceeded. So there's only one file that we can't copy, which is inside the PRIS folder called resources. Everything else has been copied. And uh, just to make sure that that's the case, you can type dir slash s to list all the files in our original folder. You can see there's 135 files. And if you go to the folder that we just created, dir slash s, sorry, uh, the wrong slash, dir slash s, there's 134 files. So there's only one file missing, which is the file that Windows didn't want us to copy. Okay, thanks guys. Hope you learned from something from this tutorial. See you next time.